Hello. Husky's back again with more Dallas Stars GM mode franchise mode commentary. Last video we hit a very, um, well, boring offseason, to say the least. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say about it. Uh, we start our Cup of Defense this season. Hopefully we are able to continue the success that we had last season. Our lines are set. These are what I'm going to go with. Um, potentially could put Yamamoto back on the third line, but since he is the second line forward... Uh, I want to leave him there in hopes that he gets to an 85 or an 86. And the guys that I have on the third line are third liners. I'm going to leave Puyarvi on the first line. He's 23. I'm hoping he gets to a 90. Uh, Reinhardt actually took a dip. He's an 87. That's a little disappointing. I wonder what... I like. He was an 89 last season, wasn't he? Could have swore he was higher than that. Uh, defensively, still pretty good. Uh, I am going to take the advice of the comment section. I'm going to put Carlson on the trade block. And see if we can find a different defenseman to trade for. Because he's just kind of... He's... Uh, whatchamacallit. He's just... He's flatlined here. He's topped out. At his current overall. Now he doesn't... He's got kind of decent trade value still. So... We could get something back for him. I don't need forwards. Just need defense. And reading at the comment again, it's uh, definitely he was awful in the playoffs because that poise stat really comes into play. Him and Heskinen were the, our worst pairing, um, most likely because he was our, they were our youngest pair. That's kind of how it goes. But we're going to hop in. Game one against the Devils. I mean, well, it'll be an interesting season to say the least. Let's see, what we, let's see how we start it. All right, so Sam Reinhardt on the board. Nico Heischer. They had three shots. Holy. Sh so they outscored their shot total in the first period. All right. Well, Carlson threatened to trade him. He scores a goal. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, Will Butcher. Six to two. Oh, Pavel Zacha. Seven to two. Zaka. Sorry. All right. So not a, not a real impressive start for the Stanley Cup champions, uh, to say the least. Holy. It's alright, it's only game one. New Jersey is a decent young team. We will we will right the ship as we go. I'm not concerned. Our team's pretty much the same. I just swapped out what one player for Patrick Marlowe. Hoping that we get twenty or twenty five goals out of Patrick Marlowe. Now that's obviously uh wishful thinking. I highly doubt Marlowe's gonna get more than twenty goals. We will have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and scout. See if we can find something. I'm still on the fence about the goaltending. I still have Robin Lehner in there. Right? Yeah. Couldn't remember if we did anything. We didn't do anything though. The offseason was... There was nothing in free agency that was worthwhile. Well, I mean, Tuka Rask was, but he's 35. That's kind of really... That's... Fixing a now, a now problem with a later problem. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, if I should look, because, I mean, my forwards are, my forwards are set. Like, I'm not going to change my top six anytime soon. As long as I can afford them, they're going to stay. So, yeah, we've got that going for us. We are five and seven though. Six and seven. There is not a large change in this team to say that this performance is should be happening. Might have to might have to switch up that second line. That might be doing it. Might put Yamamoto back on that third line. And I'll toss Dickinson on the second line, but we'll we'll let to see if the team figures itself out here. We have one four straight, five straight, six, seven. Alright, we look like we're rolling now. Just just kinda got off to a slow it was, it was a Stanley Cup hangover. We were fatigued. Just had to just had to get in a rhythm. Go to Russia. Thirteen, seven, and one. 
14, 7, and 1. Vancouver's a good team, too, so those were big wins. We're beating good teams in this stretch, which is nice. Like we have a win streak that includes Pittsburgh, LA, Washington, San Jose, Vancouver, Edmonton. Granted, uh, one of those teams, I don't remember which one, usually falls off in this. Alright, yeah, I think we're back to normal. I don't think I need to make any changes. Just keep scouting and going from there. I really feel like I want to make a move just to make a move, to make something interesting. But at the same time, our record is 19-8-2. I don't feel right making any moves. Now, if we go on a long losing streak, never mind, we lost two in a row. <laughs> if anything, while Vegas is 24-6-2, and, and we beat him, one nothing, nice. Robin Laner, beast. All you gotta do is turn to take his job away and he plays better. But if I make a move, I think it'll be at the trade deadline. Like, I'll try to bring in a veteran defenseman for that third pairing, maybe. If I can move Carlson for that. Take the Blackhawks approach from when they had their cup runs is add a veteran presence late in the year. We haven't really done that. I mean, we kind of did that this year. Or this offseason with Patrick Marlowe. Alright, so we're 26, 10, and 4. Considering we started 5 and 7, <laughs> we've really turned it around, to say the least. Johnny T, as always, leading the team in points, 40. 40 points, 40 games. Tyler Sagan, 33. JB Ben, 33. Sam Reinhardt, 32. Yamamoto, 27. So he's actually doing fairly well in that second line. I mean, he's not going to score, but he doesn't need to score. Garina, who's that? who else is on that first line? Where's Puyarvi? Ooh, 20 points Puyarvi, but he's a plus 12. So, I mean, he is a two-way forward. So, I really don't feel like he's going to bring out the giant points. But, I mean, Garina, 23. Dickinson, 21. Shore, 19. Shea, 17. Like, this is... Shea's a plus 23. Our fourth line's struggling a little bit. They're putting the puck in the net. They're just kind of struggling to keep the puck out of the net. Baptiste uh, might have to get a swap out for somebody. We'll, we'll wait and see, though. Patrick Marlowe has six goals. Alright, again, not terrible. Not terrible. Yeah, that power forward might just not be working on that line. What's Laners looking like here? 21, 10, and 4. Wow, Devin Dubnik, 4, 5, and 0. With a 9.58 save percentage. A 1, 2, 2 goals against. God damn. He is a monster. And the Robin Laner, again, 9, 11, 258. Like, it's just... Almost right on par with what he was last year. So that's a save percentage significantly worse. I mean, look at his numbers since, like, I signed him, what, year one? So that would be 2017. I mean, his numbers have been good. They're just steadily declining, which is a little concerning. Then you get to the playoffs. I mean, his save percentage is through the roof, but his goals against could be better. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't want to make a trade for a goaltender. He's, d he's done enough to earn a spot. Carlson, plus three. I mean, he's struggling a little bit. How is Tyson Berry a plus ten, but Julius Hawk is a plus three? That does not make sense to me. But whatever. I kind of want to do a quick run through of the trade market to see if there are any veteran defensemen that I should even be looking at. No, there's, that's a bad way to look at it. I should go to the trade block. I so I will forever miss the 360 versions of NHL where you could go to the trade block and search for a certain player set, like set on a skill set. Josh Manson. Uh, 84. Jason Demers, Ryan Murphy. Jason Demers wouldn't be awful. 80, 80 poise, that's it. These guys have such shitty poise. Mike Green? Oh boy. Oh, they have another Terravina in Chicago. Matt Nieto, Josh Bailey. Corpusalo on the trade block? God, that's so tempting, man. And he's so cheap. Like, if I could... I don't want to trade for Corpusalo because he's what I always trade for. Alright, never mind. His trade value is pretty high. <laughs> never mind. I thought it was uh, significantly less than that. Turns out it's not. 
Oh man, that's, that's such a tempting trade to try to make, but I just don't have the pieces necessary to make that trade, because they only want NHL talent. I see they want all NHL players, and I don't have an abundance of NHLers to trade. Ooh, Lindell is not a happy camper. Doesn't surprise me. Kind of just threw him under the bus. Decided he was not going to play. Corpus Hall might be somebody to come look back in the offseason. Really takes me out of the trade block. Alright, so where was I? Columbus? Alright, so Detroit. JVR. Zetter Zetterberg's still going, huh? Damn. Ablocator. Nothing. Trocheck. Duchesne's a 79. Wow, he must be pissed playing there. I wonder what his trade value is. His trade value is pretty low. I probably could get him. I mean, I don't know if I'd want to, because like I said, he's a 79. He's probably just not happy with his playing time, I would assume. Oh, he's got a big old frowny face. He's probably not worth that 6.6 .6 price tag, though. Vincent Trocheck. Again, though, I don't need... Come on. Let me... Jesus. I don't need forwards, and I won't need forwards for, like, the rest of this GM mode. At least that aren't bottom six. Alright, that was Florida, LA. Nothing, Minnesota. Brodeen? Why is Brodeen on the trade block? His trade value is probably through the roof. It is. There's no way I could bring in Brodeen. Oh, they do want Carlson. There we go, Brodeen for Carlson. Oh, damn, I'd be over the cap. <laughs> Do I have any cap hit? Oh, I have Lindell. But now they'd have more than... Oh, man. Honestly, if I were to make the trade for Brodeen... He's 28. I would probably swap out Tyson Berry, but that only saves me two seasons in terms of age. Like, these guys don't want young kids, which I have an abundance of, like, I have several good young forwards, but they just don't want them. Alright, so I'll back out again. I wish it would take me back to the trade block, like, that's where I started. Can you please put me back there? Why is, why is that so hard? Alright, um, up to Montreal. Nope. Nope. Ryan McDonough, Kevin Shattenkirk. Kevin Shattenkirk is somebody that might be an option. His trade value is probably not terribly high. I mean, he makes 5.7. That's, eh, that's... I don't need... Oh, Peaky Soup, man. Philip Forsberg's an 81. Man, Nashville, you were doing some bad things there, buddy. I need to stop having my expectations so high. I don't need a top four defenseman. I need a third pairing guy that's like between an 81 and an 82. That'll allow me to... Thatcher Demko's on the trade block? Tempting. Very tempting. Connor Hellebuck. Alright, so I mean, honestly, Joss Manson is like... <laughs> the best guy, but he makes 4 million. What's his trade value? And his poise isn't that good. Like, the whole reason I'd make this deal is because of his poise. Actually, he's got 84 poise. That's, that's, that's actually pretty good. But they don't want anything. They literally, they don't want... They want a young defenseman. Yeah, that puts me so close to the... Actually, I'm okay with that. Oh, they took that trade? Alright. Uh, Lindell, get in the minors. Wait, how would that put me over the... What? Oh, uh, really? We're gonna do this shit? Alright, I don't really care about if either of them get snagged. I kind of want to call this Thomas kid up and put him on the fourth line with Marlo. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a chance. Uh, do I have a defenseman I can call up? Because I need to call somebody up. Can I call Hanson back up? I can. Alright, I don't understand the salary cap in this game. I really don't. Alright, 
I don't want to best lines it, but I feel like this is definitely a better move for us. Josh Manson, he makes he makes a bit more money wise. Like he's not making 1.8 like Carlson was, but I mean he's a good defensive defenseman. He should do well with Heskinen. Uh, we didn't really lose anything. I'm gonna swap you out with what's his face, Thomas. Is Thomas? I feel like he's. 76 face-offs, 74 face-offs, so we'll put him at center. Maybe this can kind of get this line just going in the right direction. We'll wait and see. I'm still torn about what to do with Yamamoto. I mean, he's getting, the second line is doing good, but that's because Ben and Sagan are good. And the first line is getting carried by Tavares. Do I have to change my HL lines? I do. Just just best lines it. I'm kind of out of good players down here. Yep. The goaltenders. Nothing. Alright, so we are good to go. I said I think that's a good trade. Bringing in an 84 poise. Decent third pairing defenseman. Didn't lose anything. We lost a prospect, but... Whatever. We also got Lindell off the NHL lineup. He was a big... He's a big old frowny face and a, just a negative Nancy. So that should help the team chemistry. But I'm going to call it there. As always, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. Or subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what I do on a regular basis to know when the next video goes live. Comment section below for any critiques, criticisms, or just comments in general on the series. And last but not least, thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the regular season.